Welcome back, everybody, to the Movie Trivia Challenge. I'm your host, Hunter the Hitman Chambers, and tonight is a big, big match. This is the MTC Rumble, or the Free For All, whatever you guys want to call it. 20 competitors battling out for one prize, and that is the MTC World Heavyweight Championship of the world, and here is how our free-for-all slash rumble will work. We'll start with five competitors that will each be asked five questions. After that, uh, we will have eliminations based on who got the lowest scores, and we'll bring in people up until we have our 20 competitors. All right, so let's introduce our competitors, starting with number one. He is Richie Goodall. Hey. Good, good luck. Yeah. Uh, yeah, good good to be here. Hopefully I uh I'm hoping to Sean Michaels this bitch. Uh hopefully and not uh, Titus World Slide this bitch. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Wrestling references. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, and number two, notorious Russell Howell. Glad to be here, man. Uh, hopefully get some Ric Flair luck in here. Last in the Rumble for a little bit. We'll see. I'm going to hide out in a corner for a little bit and let the other guys fight and see what happens. There you go. <laughs> Number three is Hollywood. Corey Quinto. I might be number three, and I know somebody was number one when they did this, so time to channel the inner William Viviani to hopefully take me to the end. <laughs> Number four, he is Joshua the Viper Velasquez. Hey guys, uh, I don't have any wrestling references, but uh, I'm hoping to last. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, number five, he is the Red Ranger, RJ. I'm just here to die. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if all competitors are ready, we will begin with question number one in the category of the 2000s. This is a very simple question. Who directed Apocalypto? Um, a movie I have not seen. Um, you will hear that a lot from me tonight, but um, definitely an interesting choice for a director. Five, four... Three, two, one. Pins down, Richie. Mel Gibson. That is correct. One point. Russell. Sugar tits himself, Mel Gibson. <laughs> That's correct. Corey. Mel Gibson. That is correct. Joshua. Mel Gibson. That is correct. And RJ. Mel Gibson. That is correct. Swept the board, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys, your next question is in the category of the 2010s. And your question is, what 2013 film is about a man named Theodore who begins a relationship with an AI named Samantha? I am trying not to say a lot because I do not want to ruin anything. We need answers in five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, Russell. Her. That is correct. Corey. Her. That is correct. Josh. Her. That is correct with a question mark. RJ. Her. That is correct. And Richie. Her. That is correct. Two. Across the board. All right, guys. Your next question is in the category of the 70s. Oh, jeez. And your question is, what is the first name of the young possessed girl in The Exorcist? <sighs> Looking for the girl in The Exorcist. One of my favorite horror movies of all time. Answers in five, four... Three, two, one. Pins down. We will start back with Richie. I got it wrong. I said Linda. I said Linda Blair. I don't know. <laughs> that is incorrect. Russell. Reagan. That is correct. Corey. 
Hunter, I haven't forgotten about the Ouija board question. Reagan. <laughs> that is correct. Josh. Reagan. That is correct. And RJ. I'm not even going to pretend I saw it. <laughs> All right. So three of you got that right. Going into question number was four. four. Yes, four. four. The category of the 80s, because I can't math today. <laughs> what TV star plays uh, Soda Pop Curtis in The Outsiders? All right, so I have Russell, Corey, and Josh with three. Uh, RJ and Richie with two. Oh, my God. Can you repeat the question again? Question is, what TV star plays Soda Pop Curtis in The Outsiders? I'm just talking about this fucking movie last night. You say one repeat. Josh. <sighs> just talking about this fucking film last night. We're going to make it simple. All you guys get one repeat. Um, five, four, three, two, one. Start with Russell. Ralph Macchio? That is incorrect. Corey? Was it Rob Lowe? That is correct. Uh, yeah. Josh? I had Emilio Estevez. Ooh, RJ? I'm surprised I wrote this down the quickest. Rob Lowe. That is correct. And Richie? Didn't, not, didn't have anything. Ooh, okay. <laughs> and your fifth question is in the category of the 90s. What is the name of the restaurant that Vince and me attend in Pulp Fiction? Ah, uh, this was the other day. Oh, Jesus Christ. I should know, I should know this. One of my favorite Tarantino movies. Um, Tarantino is one of my favorite directors, so that's saying a lot. Five, four, three, two, one. Pen down. We will start with RJ. I hope this joke works. Bye bye, Birdie. Hopefully, I'm actually eliminated. <laughs> that is incorrect, Josh. I don't know. 50s Cafe. That is incorrect, Corey. Jack Rabbit Slims. That is correct. Russell. I knew there was a Jack and I couldn't pull it though. And Richie? I knew there was a Slims, but I put Jimmy Slims. I'm out. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, so with Richie having two points, that means Richie is the first one eliminated. Everybody else survives. Richie, um, sorry, uh, but we will have to say goodbye to you. That's all good. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. Number six, the quote, Ryan Permison. Hello. All right. Good that means we get a Power Rangers question. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. That's what I that means. Love to get a Power Rangers question, RJ. <laughs> That's what that means. <laughs> All right. So if you guys are ready, we begin in the first category of horror slash thriller. I do not think there's Power Rangers in horror thriller. I could be wrong, though. And your question is, what horror movie has the tagline, even nice people can go to hell? What? Wow. That does not sound friendly. Hmm. <laughs> nice people can go to hell? Okay. Hmm. Screw it. <laughs> even nice people can go to hmm. All right. It's definitely Five, not a Power Rangers question, RJ. Four, three, <sighs> two, one. Pins down. We'll start with Ryan. N not a clue. Drag me to hell. That is correct. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Hello. Russell. Uh, I just had Hellraiser. I knew no chance at hell of that one. Uh, no okay. pun intended, um, Russell. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, my God. Drag me to hell. Oh, I, I also I can't believe I pulled that out of my you know what. That is heavens. correct. And RJ. I also guessed drag me to hell. Wow. <laughs> All right, RJ. Wow. <laughs> wow. Same page. This is great. And uh, we're gonna and, Russell, 
And Russell and I were on the same page. I said Hellraiser. Wow. <laughs> what are the odds, <laughs> folks? Hellraiser. Hey. I've heard things about there we go. Too. I respect the hustle, though, on Hellraiser. Come on. Yeah. All right, guys. Bye, your, next, your next question is the category of Geek Mixed Bag. Mm. And your question is, who knocks Hawkeye unconscious when he's under Loki's mind control? We'll accept either hero name or real name, whichever one you oh. give us. Oh, okay. You froze up on me. You froze up on me. I oh, okay. Who did um, Hawkeye? That's all I heard. All right, Jennifer, repeat. Uh, who knocks Hawkeye unconscious when he's under Loki's mind control? Wait a minute. Oh, okay, I got it now. Am I remembering this right? I don't know. This is a good movie too. <laughs> Need answers in five, four, three, two. One pins down RJ. If it's not Black Widow, I'd be shocked. That is correct. <laughs> okay. Josh. Josh. I, I also had Black Widow. That is correct. Corey. Black Widow. That is correct. Russell. I'm going to have to be bye bye, Birdie. I said Thor. <laughs> Ooh, Ryan. They waited 10 years to give her her solo film. That's a little too long, Marvel. What's wrong with you? Black Widow. That is correct. All right, guys, your next question is in the category of fantasy films. And your question is, what future Oscar-winning actress stars as Sarah in the 1986 film Labyrinth? Uh, How do you got the softball? That How do you got the softball? This is not spelled right. I can spelling guarantee you that now. <laughs> Five. Spelling. Four, What's three? Who knows two, that? One. Pins down, Ryan. Uh, that would be the beautiful girl. She's been in a lot of movies, including The Rocketeer, Jennifer Connelly. That is correct. Russell. Jennifer Connelly. That is correct. Corey. Jennifer Connelly. That is correct. Josh. Jennifer Connelly. That is correct. And RJ. <laughs> Jennifer Connolly spelled terribly, terribly wrong compared to that, everybody that, else's. That is correct. I basically right, spelled so cannoli. <laughs> oh, God. Jeez. Uh, all right, guys. Your uh, fourth question is in the category of Will Ferrell movies. Who plays the father of Will Ferrell's character in Daddy's Home 2? Oh. I still have Ryan, Ryan, Joshua, RJ at three, Corey at two, and Russell with one. Oh my God! What's his name? Five. Repeat the question. I the Ryan's one repeat. And your question is: Who plays the father of Will Ferrell's character in Daddy's Home Two? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Yeah. We had to dig deep a little bit here, folks. Oh, I had a brain fart. Cool. Yeah. Three, I had to think two, about it for one. Pins down, Ryan. <clears throat> uh, I believe it was John Lithgow. That is correct. Ah. Russ. John Lithgow. Good thing I that is correct. That. And Corey. John Lithgow. That is correct. Josh. John Lithgow. That is correct. Hmm. And RJ. John Lithgow. That is correct. Uh, everyone gets that one right. Going into the final question, which is in animated movies. And the question is, who provided the voice of the title character in 1995's Balto? Oh, boy. I've never gotten a perfect anything. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Turn down, RJ. Kevin Bacon. That is correct. Uh, Perfect round, Josh. Kevin Bacon. Perfect round. That is correct, Corey. Kevin Bacon. 
That is correct. Russ. I'll see myself out. I had Alec Baldwin. Oh, and Ryan. I said Kiefer Sutherland. All right, but that means the notorious Russell Howell is eliminated. Wow. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. It's been I mean, fun. Good luck, guys. That means we have uh, Corey, Josh, RJ, and Ryan left. Ladies and gentlemen, the next competitor is Jake. Marangoni! And here's where it ends. <laughs> All right, guys. What a panel right here, ladies and gentlemen. You guys are ready? We start with question number one in the category of director. And your question is, which Miyazaki film won best animated feature in the year 2003? Answers in five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, we'll start with Ryan. Uh, I don't know. Castle in the Sky? That is incorrect, Jake. Yeah. Spirit of the Away. That is correct, Corey. Oh, Spirit of the Away. That is correct, Josh. Spirit of the Away. That is correct, RJ. Spirit of the Away. That is correct. Wow. Okay. All right, guys. Your next question is in the category of movie taglines. Nope. <laughs> and your question is: What twenty? What two thousand and ten kids comedy has the tagline "Magic is getting some muscle"? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Uh -oh. That can mean anything. <laughs> You mean 2010 is the year or the decade? The year. The year is 2010. Oh, wow. It's a decade ago. Man. A lot of things many, happened that year. How many Jeez. repeats am I allowed? Uh, one. Mm. For the round or all? Um, okay, then you know what? Just give it to me. Give me the last one. Give me the round, one. Yeah. All right. Uh, your question is, <clears throat> what 2010... Kids comedy has the tagline "Magic is getting some muscle." This is probably a terrible Jeez. guess. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, no. This is a terrible guess. <laughs> Mine is oh, going to be worse. Yeah. Four, three, two, one. Pen I mean, down, Jake. Is a guess, so. Jake. Was it Tooth Fairy? That is correct. Corey. I put the last there, Ben. Wow. Great wow. Point, Jake. All right. That's incorrect. Josh. The Tooth Fairy. That is correct. RJ. I thought it came out way earlier. The Tooth Fairy. <laughs> Good job, RJ and Ryan. Wow. Good pull, guys. Great pull. Nope. I said right, Sorcerer's Apprentice. Uh, okay. The Nick Cage so, one, your, so, your third question is in the category of movie release dates. <clears throat> nope. And your question is, what year was the Stallone movie First Blood released? Nope. <laughs> he said nope. Not even close. You you broke up for me, man. Can you can you give me a time oh. to repeat on that, Hunter? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine. In movie release date... What year was the Stallone movie First Blood released? Not even gonna pretend. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good okay. Uh, I'm gonna be off right what, what year? Okay. Got what it. Year? Jake just Jake, it just took the words out of my mouth. I just saw this movie a few years ago. It's a darn good movie. Five. Four, three, two, one, pin down Ryan. Uh was it nineteen eighty two? That is correct. I was into. Jake. Ooh. No, I was a bit off. Ooh. Corey. <laughs> Complete guess. 1982, baby. That is correct. Josh. I painfully had 1981. Oh, you said 81. Oh, Brooklyn. Sandwich and RJ. I guessed 84. Ooh, okay. 
least I'm on the board now. All right, guys. So your fourth question is in the category of quotes. And the question is, in what movie will you hear the quote, I'm walking here, I'm walking here. I'm just looking for the movie, not who said it. I feel like I'm completely remembering this wrong. <laughs> but if I get this right. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, RJ. Midnight Cowboy? That is correct. All right. Josh. Midnight Cowboy. That is correct. Corey. Midnight Cowboy. That is correct. Uh, Jake. Midnight Cowboy. That is correct. And Ryan. No, I had the Cowboy point right, but the first part of it I had wrong. I said Urban Cowboy. Ooh. Okay. And the, <laughs> and the fifth question is in the category of sci-fi. The question is, Korean director Jun Bong Ho, or Ju Ho Bong, I'm sorry, made his, his English language directing debut with a 2013, with what 2013 Chris Evans sci-fi movie. I can give you guys a technical repeat if you need it, because I've jumbled over that completely. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, we'll start with RJ. Snowpiercer. That is correct. Josh. <clears throat> that is correct. Corey. No piercer, and if you can see right there, this is a little bit. This is a tiny R. Oh, I ran out of room to write. <laughs> that, that's fine. That is correct, Jake. Snow piercer. That is correct, and Ryan. Yep, snow piercer. That is correct. All right, but at the end, wait. No, we have one more. I'm gonna need it. No, that was the fifth was question. Five. That was five. Okay. okay yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So at the end of the. Uh, Five questions. Ryan has two. Everyone else has four. That means Ryan, yeah. you are unfortunately eliminated. Great job tonight. Yeah. Um, Thanks, guys. Good luck, RJ. I hope you win. Go, 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 power. That is not happening. Oh. Don't, don't, don't you put that evil <laughs> on me, Ricky Bobby? <laughs> that, is not, that is not happening. I. This is. I don't even know why I'm still here. Where are you guys? <laughs> You're doing great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and your next competitor, Jacob Barber. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what a crew, what a crew. We begin in the category of comic book movies. And your question is, who starred as Marv? In Sin City. It answers in five, four, three, two, one. Jacob. It's been so long since I've seen this. I'm going to go with Bruce Willis. That is incorrect, Jake. I figured it was. Mickey that is correct. Corey. Mickey Rourke. That is correct. Joshua. Mickey Rourke. That is correct. And RJ. Mickey Rourke. That is correct. RJ on the run of a lifetime. Shut your poor mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your mouth when you're talking to me. <laughs> your next question is in the category of action slash adventure. The question is, in Demolition Man, in 2032, after the franchise wars, all restaurants are now what fast food chain? I hate you, Hunter. <laughs> great question. Oh, it is a great question. It was a great I, movie. I love this movie so <laughs> This much. movie's so good. Five, four, three. three seashells. I'm sorry? How do you use the three seashells? One pins down, Jake. 
Better than a rat burger, Taco Bell. That is correct. Damn. Corey. Taco Bell. That is correct. Josh. I had Arby's. Ooh, RJ. Taco Bell. That is correct. And Jacob. Took a total guess. I said KFC. Ooh, Arby's. They have the meat. (laughs) They do have the meat, but not the correct answer. All right, guys. Your next question is in the category of actors slash actresses. And your question is, what two movies movies cast included both Ben Affleck and Will Smith? So we're looking for both movies. Five, four, three. I'll use my repeat. Oh, nope. I said it first. I still have one. Yeah, can use this. (laughs) All right. So your question is: What two movies cast included both Ben Affleck and Will Smith? We need answers in five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, Jacob. No, I couldn't pull it. Ooh, Jake. <laughs> Does it go on Suicide Squad? That is correct. Corey. Jersey Girl and Suicide Squad. That is correct. Josh. I had Suicide Squad and Collateral Beauty. Ooh, and RJ. I couldn't remember Jersey Girl. I only had Suicide Squad. Ooh, okay. That was my problem. Your fourth question is in the category of romantic comedies. The question is, what is the profession of Drew Barrymore's character in Never Been Kissed? How specific do we have to be? There's Sorry, a, I'm that guy. There's a couple of different there's, answers. There's an obvious answer. That's all I will say. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, RJ. Uh, she's an undercover reporter? That is correct. I'll accept okay. that. Jacob. I have never seen this movie. Uh, Jake. I hate Rutger Dawson who directed this movie, but it's still a reporter. That is correct. Corey. She's a reporter. That is correct. And Jake, I'm with you. I hate I hate Dawson as well. Gosh. I had a journalist. <laughs> uh, I had reporter and I erased it and put journalist because I figured that's more specific. What do you guys think? I mean, they're almost online Aren't the same thing. Aren't they the same thing? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll accept it. Yeah, I mean, I'm really getting eliminated it. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. I feel so, like working for a newspaper, you're the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So I believe on um, that's four, right? Yeah. Yeah. Your fifth question is in the category of Natalie Portman, and your question is: Natalie Portman star stars alongside Jude Law. Uh, Nicole Kidman and Renee Zellweger in what 2003 movie? So you going the other Nellie Portman Jude Law film? <clears throat> Answers in five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, Jacob. No, nothing. Jake. Gold Mountain. That is correct. Damn, Corey. Gold Mountain. That is correct. Josh. I drew a blank. RJ. Totally forgot Natalie Portman was in Cold Mountain. (laughs) 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 Totally (laughs) forgot. But ladies and gentlemen, RJ does survive because Jacob is sadly eliminated. Thank you, good sir, for coming in. I hope you have a good night.
Thanks for having me. And your next competitor, he is Anthony Gista. <clears throat> What's up? What's up? Hello. All right, guys. So we begin our first question in the category of romance. Ah. And your question is: Who stars opposite Hugh Jackman in 2001's Kate and Leopold? I was hoping I that's was where hoping. you were going with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this from last night, actually. Oh wow! That's a wow! What an interesting coincidence. Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down. We'll start with Anthony. Uh, I don't think it's right. I want to keep back in sale. Ooh, that is incorrect. Um, Jake. Meg Ryan. That is correct. Corey. Meg, Meg Ryan. That is correct. Josh. Meg Ryan. That is correct. RJ. Meg Ryan. That is correct. <laughs> All right, guys. Your next question is in the category of movie quotes. <clears throat> uh, what film has the quote, snakes? Why did it have to be snakes? <laughs> what a great match so far from all of our competitors. Yes. Any answers in five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, we'll start with RJ. Raiders of the Lost Ark? That is correct, Joshua. Raiders of the Lost Ark. That is correct, Corey. Raiders of the Lost Ark. That is correct, Jake. Raiders of the Lost Ark. That is correct, and Anthony. Raiders of the Lost Ark. That is correct. <laughs> All right, guys, your third question is in the category of Disney Animated. Mm -hmm. And your question is, the song Part of Your World is from what Disney film? How do you guys the softball? Do we have to sing it? Uh, you can if you want. Um, I would not recommend it because I do not want to be copyrighted. Because they will find you for just the melody. Five. Four, three, two, one. Pins down. We start with Anthony. The Little Mermaid. That is correct, Jake. <clears throat> Didn't have it. Wow, Corey. <clears throat> the Little Mermaid. That is correct, Joshua. The little Mermaid. <clears throat> that is correct, and RJ. The Little Mermaid. That is correct. So Jake didn't get it, correct? Or did yeah, he? he didn't. No, he was the only one. He said he didn't have it. Yeah, he didn't have it. Just want to be sure. All right, guys. Your fourth question is in the category of dramas. Oh boy. Emily Blunt plays FBI agent Kate Messer in this 2015 film. You each have one repeat if you need to use it anytime during this round. Five, this right. four, three, two, one. Pins down, uh, Anthony. <clears throat> Sicario? That is correct. Jake? Sicario. That is correct. Corey? It means Hitman in Spanish, Sicario. That is correct. Joshua? Sicario. That is correct. And RJ? I completely forgot she was in that, and I put girl in a train because I don't know movies. Ooh, okay, okay. And your fifth question is in the category of geek mixed bag. <clears throat> and your question, name the actor that appears in both Doctor Strange and Rogue One, a Star Wars story. I have Anthony with three, Jake with three, Corey with four, Joshua with four, and RJ with three. This is about to get very interesting. Corey and I, <laughs> Corey and I can eliminate oh, everybody here. I have no you idea. You really could. Maybe, maybe probably will. 
Like, come on, Josh. Let's I'm probably one right now. Come I got, on, I got Josh. It. Five, I got five, four, I got three, it. two, one. Pins down, RJ. Mads Mickelson. That is correct. Josh. Mads Mickelson. That is correct. Corey. Mads Mickelson. That is correct. Jake. Mads Mickelson. That is correct. Anthony. I don't know Star Wars. I put Benjamin Bratt. Oh. Wow. So Anthony is eliminated in a very oh. close round. So RJ survives. Corey, job. Josh, I yeah. hate y'all so much. Y'all have Anthony- uh. Jake, you had one job. <laughs> you just had to go with Little Mermaid. You had one job. I know. <laughs> to be honest, I've never seen that. That's All right, fine. Guys. I haven't seen half the answers I've given. <laughs> <laughs> right, give me one second. Nice job, Josh. I, uh, this I demand a recount. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Your next competitor. He is the Sandman, Sandy Robinson. That's why oh, I'm goodness. still here. Because this was supposed to happen. That's why I'm still here. He, he is here exactly to just to knock me out again. So that's, Shut that's up, what will happen. So. <laughs> I'm going to take this off. It's a little hot. All right, guys. So if you're ready for your first question, it's in the category of Judd Apatow. What 2009 film directed by Judd Apatow starred Adam Sandler, Leslie Mann, and Seth Rogen? <clears throat> RJ, going for the uh, the Cinderella story. Hey, hey, hey! I mean, let's let's not hit on Corey and Josh. I mean, I know I was number five, but they've been here as long as I have. Let's, that is let's calm cool. down, people. Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, Sandy. Uh, I have no clue. Uh, I said Spanglish. That is incorrect, Jake. Funny people. That is correct, Corey. The title is misleading, Funny People. It very much is. That is correct, Joshua. Technically, they were people, funny people. <laughs> that is correct, RJ. And they're all hilarious, usually. Funny people. That is correct. <laughs> all right, guys. Your next question is in the category of directors. Who directed Rushmore? He answers in five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, RJ. Wes Anderson? That is correct. Okay. <laughs> Josh. No, oh, Wes Anderson. <laughs> Corey. Wes Anderson. That is correct. Jake. Wes Anderson. That is correct. Sandy. It's it's invisible right now, but it was Wes Anderson. <laughs> that, that's why I love you, Sandy. All right, guys, your next question is in the category of sports. Ooh. Nice. What was Michael B. Jordan's first name in Creed? Thank you. Thank you. You need answers. Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down. We start with Sandy. Uh, Adonis. That is correct. Jake. Adonis. That is correct. Corey. Adonis. That is correct. Josh. Adonis. That is correct. And RJ. Adonis. That is correct. So just for the record, no matter what happens now, like they could all go and take a sandwich break and <laughs> I'm still up. <laughs> all right, guys. Your next question is in the category of Tim Burton. Ugh. And your question is, in Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street, 
who plays Jer Judge Turpin? I'm trying not to say that much because I do not want to ruin any of the questions. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, RJ. <clears throat> Alan Rickman. That is correct. Snape himself, Joshua. Alan Rickman. That is correct. Rest in peace. Corey. Alan Rickman. That is correct. Jake. Also, Alan Rickman. That is correct. Sandy. Also, I've never seen this before, so. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how. Going into the final question, which is in the category of, I'm sorry, RJ, it scores and soundtracks. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Your question is, who composed the score for a history of violence? Oh, is this right? No. Ah, crap. Five, four, three, two, one. Do you want to use the repeat? One. Andy. Okay, Andy. sorry about that. I don't really need it now, but. <laughs> well, I'll say it anyway. Who composed the score for History of Violence? Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, Sandy. All right, I had two in my head. I wrote the first one down, and if it's that one, I'm going to be pissed off. But I said Hans Zimmer. That is incorrect, Jake. Yeah. Uh, Alan, sure. That is correct. Howard sure. sure. That is correct. Josh. A lot of people think it was Howard Shore, but I'm pretty sure it was Daft Punk. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a misconception. <laughs> that is incorrect, RJ. I just put James Horner because why not? Ooh, okay. But at the end of the fifth question, I mean, Sandy is eliminated. Thank you for coming on, brother. Hope you had fun. Uh, helping Daft Punk with that was Hans Zimmer. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Later. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm really starting to get scared. We're 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 getting dangerously gonna, close to a clear the table situation how here. How many numbers are we right Same now? Same four people keep eliminating one person, and then someone's gonna come along and just not make you guys happy. I don't and care if I go home. Sleeper. You guys are screwed. Somebody's, somebody's gonna drink on this, and I'm just, I'm nervous. <laughs> All right, guys, your next opponent is Ryan. Hey, hey. guys. We go into the first question, which is in the category of movie quotes. Damn it. I'm sorry, movie taglines, not quotes. I don't... All right. Even right. worse. <laughs> <laughs> movie tagline. What 2002 horror movie has the tagline of C Evil? Um, I want you guys to know it is S E A, not S E E. Had to specify that. So it's C Evil. <clears throat> Wait, you're saying it's S E A Evil? Yes, S E A, not S E E. Total shot in the dark. <laughs> yeah. Based on the answers you're giving tonight, I would, I'm pretty sure it's the right answer. Uh -oh. Five, four, three, two. I'll use, I'll, use, I'll use my repeat. All right. So Joshua is using his one repeat. All right. What 2002 horror movie has the tagline of C S E A Evil? It's not even grammatically. I correct. really hope this is wrong. <laughs> I really hope this is wrong. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Ryan. I don't know the fog. <laughs> that is incorrect, Jake. <clears throat> uh, the ship. That is correct. 
What is that? Huh. Corey. I had the ring. What that the is hell is ghost ship? Uh, Josh. Oh, ghost ship. That is correct. <laughs> I had the ring, and then when you changed the spelling, I said, wait a second. And RJ. <laughs> exactly the same thing. I, I, I also had ghost ship. It's always B3. <laughs> Uh, it had yeah. a really crazy opening scene. <laughs> I was on the morning. Yeah, oh, yeah. Your second question is in the category of comic book movies. Who plays Jeeves, the alien arms dealer in Men in Black? <coughs> After that, uh, the hardball. Here's a little gimme. Five, four, three. Two, one, pins down RJ. Tony Shalhoub. That is correct. Josh. Tony Shalhoub. That is correct. Corey. Tony Shalhoub. That is correct. Jake. Tony Shalhoub. That is correct. Ryan. Yep. Tony Shalhoub. That is correct. All right, guys. Your third question is in the category of horror thriller. Who directed 2020's The Invisible Man? Had to specify which one. Because there are two. I apologize to everyone who already missed one because now I'm going to put you in danger. <laughs> <laughs> well, like real danger. <laughs> I never expected to question on anyway. Or. Three, two, one. Pins down. We'll start with Ryan. I don't know how to spell his name, so I just wrote Lee Wanell. That is correct. Jake. The name, not the spelling, right? <laughs> He's an Aussie. Lee Wanell. That is correct. Oh, Corey. Yeah, worst spelling in the world. Lee Wanell. That is correct. Josh. <clears throat> He's off, but phonetically it's correct. Lee Wanell. That is correct. And RJ. You're not serious, right? <laughs> You're kidding? I wouldn't know a director if you had a gun to my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Right. Right. Your fourth question is in the category of fantasy sci-fi. Oh Your question is, in Blade Runner 2049, Ryan Gosling's character is named, is named only by what letter? A letter? Yes, by what letter? Uh, oh, finally, I can go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> watch, it be a watch it be a guess, and it's the right answer. It's the it time. doesn't matter. I'm already in a position where I'm Four. in the group that's going to get out of here. <laughs> One. Pins down, uh, RJ. I just guessed R. <laughs> it's incorrect, Josh. Good. I don't know, M. <laughs> That is incorrect. Corey. K. That is correct. J. Hey. Okay. That is correct. And Ryan. So glad. K. That is correct. And uh, we go into the fifth question because I'm a dumbass. You thought that was fine. All right, guys. So your final question is in the category of directors. Who directed The Wizard of Oz? In. Answers in five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, RJ. Finally. Bye bye, Birdie. <laughs> <laughs> that is incorrect. Josh. I completely blank. Corey. Victor Fleming. Yeah. That is correct. Uh, Jake. Pick the plumbing. That is correct. And Ryan. I, I thought it was more than one director, Victor Fleming. <laughs> that is correct. All right. So that means <laughs> RJ is eliminated after seven rounds. What a performance by Mr. RJ. Shut your mouth. All of you shut your mouth. I'm going to bed. One of you three better win this. Or I'm going back to haunt all of you.
Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good hour, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. And your next opponent is Scott Harvey. Hi, hey, Scott. Hey, guys. Scott. All right. Game All right. By pain and game. <laughs> Not looking forward to this. You, you've beaten us once. You'll probably do it again. But we're going to give it a real shot. This time you have me and Josh. So, this is a good opportunity for us to lose. <laughs> Guys, let's just not have it that all four of us go out. This, this is a famous match, match, right? right? <laughs> let's not happens, have him clear the table, please. Listen, yeah. If that happens, somewhere Alex is going to have a heart attack and probably die. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So, your first question is in the category of animated. And your question is, who plays the characters of Ducky and Bunny in Toy Story 4? First and last names? Um, we'll accept both. Either or. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, we'll start with Scott. Uh, King Michael Key and Jordan Peele. That is correct. And Jake. <clears throat> Piggy and George Peel. That is correct. Corey. You said you you said you would accept both, so I put Key and Peel. That is correct, yep. Josh. Keep both Key and Peel. Yeah. That is correct. And Ryan. <clears throat> Never saw the movie. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Your second question is in the category of fantasy. What is the name of the giant spider in Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King? You couldn't have asked Harry Potter. Damn. I'm so glad I know a Lord of the Rings question. Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, Ryan. Shelob. That is correct. Josh. Spider-Man. <laughs> Shelob. That is correct. Uh, Jake. Shelob. That is correct. And Scott. Not a Lord of the Rings guy. I just said Arachnus. Ooh. <laughs> you, got the, you, got the, you got the genre of fame, man. It's like Jake's going to get a question. <laughs> Your third question is in the category of horror. How do how, how do you cause the monster in It Follows to go after someone else? And we're looking for a specific answer. I absolutely love this movie. Uh, totally uh, original horror movie that we don't see in, in a very long time. Five, four, three... Two, one, pins down. We'll start with Ryan. <clears throat> I wrote pass, have sex with them, you know, in parentheses, pass it on. That That is correct. Josh. Have sex with them. That is correct. Corey. I said must have sexual intercourse. <laughs> that, that is correct. <laughs> so formal. Jake. <laughs> I would have, it was weird. You said specific, but I, so I just said having sex with someone. That, yeah, that is correct. And Scott. Yeah, I didn't know how anatomical you wanted us to get. I just said have sex. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> All right, guys. Your fourth question is in the category of Disney. <clears throat> and the question is, name the song that Anna sings to Elsa as kids. Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, Scott. Do you want to build a snowman? That is correct. And no, I do not. Jake. Uh, with the question mark, do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> that is correct. Oh. Corey. Do you want to build a snowman? 
That is correct. And we are now sued by Disney. Josh. Yeah, I won't get this demonetized. It's do you want to go this one, man? <laughs> that is correct. And Ryan. I also put the question mark. Do you want to go snowman, which is code for cocaine empire? <laughs> that is uh I'm not gonna say that's correct on uh, like oh, right. yep. all right guys so <laughs> you're on your own white powder it's that obvious guys open your mind <laughs> all right in the category of modern classics and the question is what country are the criminals uh criminals from that attack Doc Brown in Back to the Future? In five, four, yeah, I think I'm done. I, I'll use my repeat. All right. So Josh is using his repeat. And the question is, what country are the criminals from that attack Doc Brown in Back to the Future? Yeah, I'm glad I used it. <laughs> oh, good thing I'm not worried about my app. I'm just playing. <laughs> five, four. Three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Scott. I think I'm out. Germany. That is incorrect. Jake. Olivia? That is correct. Corey. Libya. That is correct. Josh. Libya. That is correct. And Ryan. <clears throat> I got the wrong country. I had the right letter. I said Lebanon. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, all right. So I believe we have two elimination, yep. which are Scott and Ryan. It's been a painful yeah. defeat. <laughs> Jake has killed us yet again. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Can I get it? Happens. That's okay. Bye, we'll come back stronger. <laughs> all right, guys. So your first of two competitors coming from number 14 is Matthew. Cutler! What's going on? And number 15, he is JB3! All right, guys. So, if you guys are ready, let's go into the next five questions. We start with the category of musicals. Yeah. Really? <laughs> And your question is, who plays Sandy in Greece? <clears throat> Any category or answers in five, four, three. Repeat, repeat, since I'm still writing. All right. So Matthew is using his one repeat. Um, are you going to say the question? Oh. oh sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, waiting. <laughs> Who plays Sandy in Greece? I'm so used to using the extensions right now that. <sighs> Five, four, three, two. One pins down. We'll start with Matthew. I couldn't. It's one of the two. Olivia Newton John. That is correct. Oh, Jay. thank God I used to repeat. She's from Australia. Olivia Newton John. That is correct. Uh, Corey. Olivia Newton John. That is correct. Josh. Olivia Newton John. That is correct. And JB3. Olivia Newton John. That is correct. Swept the board. Good job, guys. I gotta use the repeat. All right, your next question is in the category of sci-fi fantasy. Which model Terminator is chasing chasing John Connor in T two Judgment Day? Oh. 
five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, JB3. Uh, man, it's been too long. I hope I didn't get this wrong. I'm going to guess T1000. That is correct. Josh. T1000. That is correct. Corey. T1000. That is correct. Jake. T1000. That is correct. And Matt. T1000. That is correct. Uh, Your third question is in the category of comedies. What is the name of the female a cappella group in Pitch Perfect? Uh, Guys, I do need to see hands on screen, please. Sorry, but. Matt? Gotcha. Five, four, three. All right. Your question is What is the name of the female a cappella group in Pitch Perfect? Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, JB3. <laughs> the singing chicks. <laughs> that is incorrect, Josh. I don't know. The tonats. I don't know. That is incorrect, Corey. I think I just butchered it entirely. Was it the Bartabellas? I think I butchered it entirely. That is correct. Oh, it is. Uh, it's the Barden <laughs> fellas. Not the Bart fellas. Oh, did he say? Oh, I said, oh, I said Bart. Uh... Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear all the way. That, yeah, sorry, Corey, that's incorrect. Jake, you are okay. correct. It's okay. And Matt. Bart and Bellas? That is correct. Oh, bye, guys. <laughs> all right, guys, your uh, fourth question is in the category of movie quotes. And your question is, what movie features the quote, get busy living or get busy dying? Hey, JB3, I need hands on screen, please, if you can. Mine, they yeah. are. <laughs> there we go. I ain't got nothing out in this garage. <laughs> Four, three. I'll use I'll use my repaint. Hello. Okay. Your question is: What movie features the quote "Get busy living or get busy dying"? Answers in five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, um, Matthew. I said Saturday Night Fever. That is incorrect, Jake. The Shawshank Redemption. That is correct. Yeah. Corey. The Shawshank Redemption. That is correct. Josh. I blink. And JB3. Couldn't pull it. Ooh, okay. And your fifth question is in the category of dramas. Your question is, what causes Mata Cabrera to vomit in Knives Out? Answers in five. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, JB3. Um, I just guessed. Is it shit? <laughs> Josh. Uh, lying. That is correct. Corey. Whenever she lies. That is correct. Jake. 
Lion. That is correct. And Matt. Lying. That is correct. All right, guys. So I believe we have two eliminations again. I believe it's uh, Josh and JB3 are not. I did it again. No, I'm JB. Josh yeah. has three. JB yeah, has three. two. Yeah, yeah. So JB3 is eliminated. Uh, thank you for stepping in, JB3. And I hope you have a good night. All right, guys. Your next competitor, he is Amaru Moses. All right, guys. So we will go into the next five questions, starting in the category of family movies. The question is, who directed the live-action adaptation of The Jungle Book? Any answers in five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Matthew. John Favreau. That is correct. Jake. John Favreau. That is correct. Corey. John Favreau. That is correct. Josh. John Favreau. That is correct. Amaru. John Favreau. That is correct. All right, guys, your next question is in the category of sci-fi fantasy. Who plays the character of Lilu in The Fifth Element? Oh, crap. <clears throat> Any answers in five, four, three, two, one? Hands down, we'll start with Amaru. Mila Jovovich. That is correct. Josh. Mila Jovovich. That is correct. Corey. Mila Jovovich. That is correct. Jake. I love those Resident Evil films. Mila Jovovich. That is correct. Matt. Mila Jovovich. That is correct. All right, guys, your third question is in the category of rom-coms. Who stars opposite Jennifer Gardner as adult Matt in the 2004 film 13 Going on 30? Some slaps. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, we will start with Matt. Mark Ruffalo. That is correct. Jake. Love this movie. Love this guy. Mark Ruffalo. That is correct. Corey. Mark Ruffalo. That is correct. Josh. Mark Ruffalo. That is correct. And Amaru. Strongest Avenger. Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> that is correct. All right, guys, your fourth question is the category of scores and soundtracks. The question is, who composed the scores for Thor, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, and Brave? We need answers in five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, we'll start with Amaru. Patrick Doyle. That is correct. Josh. I had Michael Giacchino. Ooh, Corey. Patrick Doyle. That is correct. Jake. Patrick Doyle. That is correct. And Matt. They didn't have it. Ooh, okay. So, your final question is in the category of Oscars. For the 2000, for the 2000 Academy Awards, Steven Soderbergh received Best Director nomination for two different movies. Name both of them.
I need answers in five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Amaru. Uh, yeah. I said traffic and sideways. That is incorrect. We go on to Josh. Traffic and Aaron Brockovich. That is correct. Corey. Traffic and Aaron Brockovich. That is correct. Jake. Traffic and Aaron Brockovich. That is correct. And Matt. I couldn't think of the name, so I said, hey, why are Notions 11? Ooh, okay. So I believe that is the fifth question. And that means that Matthew Cutler is oh. eliminated. Take it easy, fellas. Good night. All right. That would have sucked if tomorrow and I went out with four out of five. That would have sucked. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, uh, so we'll go into number 17. And your opponent, Dan. Yep. Allen. I get that last question. I wanted that question. <laughs> All right, and let me. I love those movies. All right, guys, so your first question is in the category of movie release dates. Oh, great. What year saw the release of Superman Returns? Look at these guys writing down like a madman. <laughs> oh, God. All right, we need answers in five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, Dan. I got 2011. It is incorrect. Uh, Jake. 2006. Wow, that, that far, is bro? Jesus. Corey. 2006. That is correct. Josh. 2006. That is correct. And Amaru. Ooh, 2006. That is oh, correct. Boy, I'm in the hole already. I knew I wasn't going to last long, but geez. First question I get wrong. All right, guys, your second question is in the category of Quentin Tarantino. Who plays casting agent Marvin Schwartz in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? I love this movie so much. I know it got mixed receptions, but I saw it multiple times. Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down tomorrow. The spit from his Al Pacino. <laughs> that is correct. Josh. Al Pacino. That is correct. Corey. Who are Al Pacino? Who are is correct. Jake. Al Pacino. That is correct. And Dan. Al Pacino. That is correct. All right, guys. Your third question is in the category of Tom Hanks. Question is, Tom Hanks starred in two films in 2013 where he portrayed a non-fictional character. Name one of the two films. We're just looking for one, not both. What year was it again? 2013. 2013. Answers in five, four, three. All right, for Amaru? Yeah. All right. The question is Tom Hanks starred in two films in 2013 where he portrayed a non fictional person. Name one of the two films. <clears throat> We need answers in five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Amaru. I said Charlie Wilson's war. That is incorrect, Josh. Captain Phillips? 
That is correct. Corey. Saving Mr. Banks. That is also correct. Jake. Saving Mr. Banks. That is correct. And Dan. Yeah, I didn't have any of those right answers. Ooh, okay. All right, so that is question number three. Going into question number four, which is in the category of coming of age. In Ferris Bueller's Day Off, who plays Ferris's economics teacher? <laughs> we need answers in five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, we start with Dan. Ben Stein. That is correct. Jake. <clears throat> anyone? 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 Ben Stein. That is correct. You, you are. You are. Corey. You are. You are. Ben Stein. That is correct. Josh. Ben Stein. That is correct. And Amaru. Thank God for that TV show. Ben Stein. That is correct. <laughs> All right, guys. And your final question comes in the category of Westerns. <laughs> and your question is, who plays Maddie Ross in the tw in the 2010 version of True, True Grit? Uh, Looks like you guys all got this one, so I'll say goodbye while I have a chance. Five, four, I'll three, use my two. All right, Amaru or no, me? Oh, oh gosh. No. All right, your question is. I mean, I finished. I, finished writing. I don't know if anybody <laughs> needs. I just needed the extra few seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. We start with Dan. Haley Steinfeld. That is correct. Jake. Haley Steinfeld. That is correct. Corey. Haley Steinfeld. That is correct. Josh. Haley Steinfeld. That is correct. Amaru. Haley Steinfeld. That is correct. And with that, Dan Skip Allen has been eliminated. Thank you for coming out tonight, man. I hope you had fun. All right, guys, we go on to number 18. He is the Cosmic Nut Fury, Nico Suave Rigoli. You, you know what makes me sad? Had I been in Dan's spot, uh, I would have actually done well in that round. Now <laughs> I have absolutely no hope that these next questions are going to do any favors for me. All right, let me do this real quick. Like seriously, look at my screen name. It happens every time I'm in a free for all. <laughs> I can see right there. All right, and then I right, got so five, four, three, two, one. We begin this round in the category of action adventure. Who plays the T-1000 in Terminator 2 Judgment Day? <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> the answers in five, four, three, two, one. Pins down. We'll start with Nico. Terminator scarred me for life. <laughs> Sadly, that's not correct. Jake. Robert Patrick. That is correct. Corey. Robert Patrick. That is correct. Josh. Robert Patrick. That is correct. Amaru. I never remember his name, so I just put Arnold so I don't have a blank board. <laughs> All right. So we move on to the second question in the category of scores and soundtracks. Your question is, who composed the score for the following comic book movies? 2003's Hulk and Spider-Man 2.
I hate these soundtrack questions, man. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Nico. Is it Danny Elfman? That is correct. Jay. Danny Elfman. That is correct. Corey. I'm like, yeah, you're not fooling me. Danny Elfman. <laughs> that is correct. Josh. I had James Warner. Ooh, and Amaru. Yep. Danny Elfman. That is correct. All right, guys. Your third question is in the category of Disney Animated. And your question is, according to Tigger, what is the world's most wonderful thing about Tiggers? You're not looking for the direct quote? Uh, I'll be lenient. Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, we'll start with Amaru. Uh, is it that they are tiggers? That is incorrect. Josh. He's the only one. That is correct. Corey. He's the only one. That is correct. Jake. He's the only one there is. That is correct. Nico. Okay, so I wrote the quote, I'm the only one, but it's Tigger saying it, so you understand what I was going for. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll accept it. That's correct. All right, guys. Your fourth question is in the category of comedies. In Liar Liar, what was Jim Carrey's last confession to the cop when he when he was asked if there was anything else after being pulled over and we are looking for a specific answer? Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, Nico. I slept with your mom last night. Oh, that is incorrect. <laughs> Jake. Who's that? Jake, uh, are I you? Hey, parking tickets. That is correct. Corey. I have my parking tickets. Correct. <laughs> Josh. I said he was speeding. And Amaru. I was about to go to be speeding, and then I said the end page parking. That is correct. Yes. Um, we, we might be about to have a three-way elimination depending on this last question. Yeah. All right, guys. And the final category is horror thriller. Who plays Hannibal Lecter in Manhunter? We could indeed have a three-way elimination after this round, depending on how it goes. Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, Amaru. Brian Cox. That is correct, Josh. Brian Cox. That is correct, Corey. Brian Cox. That is correct, Jake. The Chance Ellison classic, Brian Cox. <laughs> that is correct, Nico. I fucked up. I had Anthony Hopkins. Oh, wow. Oh, so Nick uh... is the only one eliminated. Wow. What did I tell you? What did <laughs> I tell you? <laughs> All right, Nico, thank you for coming on tonight. Uh, we will see you very, very soon. Wow, you guys survived. Wow. All right, guys. So, number. 19, he is Doug Castle. Your boy, Doug. What Doug. are the odds? 
like uh, zero zero. If you've watched any trivia match that I've been a part of this year, like I'm not gonna make it out of this round, guys. It's okay. Y'all are safe. It's proven. 2020 is not my year. All right, guys. So we will begin with the first question in the category of actors slash actresses. Name the actor who who has appeared in the following films: Sleepy Hollow. Pulp Fiction, and The Deer Hunter. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Doug. Uh, shout out to uh, Boatman's doppelganger, Christopher Walken. <laughs> that is correct. Great. Right. Christopher Walken. That is correct. Corey. Christopher Walken. That is correct. Josh. Christopher Walken. That is correct. And Amaru. Well, you know, Christopher Walken. That is correct. You know, do you know? <laughs> All right, guys. Your next question is the category of tagline. What 2001 movie has the tagline, the only thing more dangerous than the line being crossed is the cop who will cross it? Jeez. Oh, my God. That's like the most generic tagline ever. <laughs> How many repeats do we get? One oh. each per round. Perfect. Five. Four, three, two. I'll use three. my repeat. All right, uh, Josh. Your question is, what 2001 movie has the tagline, the only thing more dangerous than the line being crossed is the cop who will cross it? <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We start with Amaru. Is this your boy Training Day? That is correct. It is Training Day. Josh. I had. I didn't have it. Corey. I finally got a tagline. Training Day. Good job, Corey. Jake. Training Day. That is correct. And Doug. I didn't get it. Ooh. Okay. So, you are third place in the category of sports. The question is, what boxing movie starred Denzel Washington? <laughs> we need answers in you know, five. I against it for the rest one, of the questions, such as Denzel movies. One, pins down, Doug. Uh, the Hurricane. That is correct. Jay. The Hurricane. That is correct. Corey. The Hurricane. That is correct. Josh. Hurricane. That is correct. And Amaru. The Hurricane. That is correct. All right, guys. Your fourth question is in the category of horror slash thriller. Your question is, who plays John Kramer, a.k.a. Jigsaw, in the Saw franchise? <laughs> Answers in five, four, three, two. Oh, right. Amara used it first, but... All right. Your question is, in horror thriller, who plays John Kramer, a.k.a. Jigsaw, in the Saw franchise? Thank you for that repeat. Even if it wasn't mine. <laughs> God damn it, Maru. Five, four, three, two. I was going to use repeat. Can I get a repeat? I right, no, using his repeats. Okay, then. Never mind, then. Uh, Horace Brewer, 
Who plays John Kramer, a.k.a. Jigsaw, in the Saw franchise? The answers in five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Doug. Tobin Bell. That is correct. Jay. Tobin Bell. That is correct. Corey. Tobin Bell. That is correct. Josh. Tobin Bell. That is correct. And Amaru. I had Tobin as his last name. I didn't get it. Ooh, okay. I had Bell. I just made it find Tobin. All right, guys. And your final question is in the category of the 2000s. Your question is, who directed the 2008 film Hunger, starring Michael Fassbender? All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, Amaru. This might be it, y'all. Darren Aaron Austin. That is incorrect. We go on to Josh. Is it Steve McQueen? That is correct. Woo. Corey. Steve McQueen. That is correct. Jay. The guy from The Great Escape, right? Steve McQueen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's correct. And Doug. I got it wrong. I want Michael Mann. Ooh, we have two eliminations with Doug and Amaru, both at three apiece. You both took each other out this time. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you guys soon. Wow. All right, guys. Now we have number 20. We did it, Corey. We made it to the end. <laughs> yeah, but this won't last long. All right, guys. Lucky number 20. He is Caleb oh, oh Coho. Yes. Corey, I'm so Caleb. glad you're here. I thought you couldn't do anything without your manager, Jacoby. Oh, my God. I'm Ooh. so excited you're here. Wow. Josh, oh, my God. You have your hands on screen. It's a great day. Uh, also, uh, can anyone tell me if Dan escaped from the old folks home? Because it was really, really heartbreaking to see Grandpa play. God. <laughs> You had two hours to prepare for this, and that's the best firm you can come up with? Corey, you don't know how to say your own fucking name. How about you sit back in the corner and answer questions that are made for children? How about answer questions, and then let's see who can who can answer this. How about answer questions, and then we'll talk. All right, you keep writing uh, your Satan cult eyes over there. It's like, Jesus, you're freaking me out with the way you draw those eyes. Yeah, bro. All right, all right, all right, guys. Because it's just the final four, how this is going to work is we have five questions, and then we'll eliminate people – or. We will eliminate the person who has the lowest per round. Okay, so right. we go down three, then the final two, and then whoever has the most points at the end wins. Do you guys understand? Yeah, so Yeah. All right, guys. So final round, we begin the category of movie release dates. Josh, we might get our wish. And your question is, the sports classics, Major League and Field of Dream for released in what year? <clears throat> Alright. Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, Caleb. 1989. That is correct. Uh, Jake. 1989. That is correct. Corey. 1989. That is correct. Josh. 1989. That is for you correct. two. Wow. Alright, guys. Your next question is the category of action slash adventure. Who plays Nick Van Owen in the Lost World Jurassic Park? Jake, aren't you glad you played a fandom match earlier? It's like you're playing two now. Five. I know, right? It's crazy. Two. One. Pins down, Josh. Vince Vaughn. That is correct. Corey. Vince Vaughn. That is correct. Jake. Vince Vaughn. That is correct. And Caleb. Wow, Vince Vaughn. So proud of you, Corey. Wow. <laughs> that is correct. Good for you. 
All right. Your third question is in the category of Westerns. What Western stars Kurt Russell and Val Kilmer as Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday? <clears throat> Five. Oh, they're sweating because it's not a 2010s through grit question. One. Pins down, Caleb. It's two, so. That is correct. Jake. It is Tim Stone. That is correct. Corey. Tombstone. That is correct. Josh. Tombstone. That is correct. Good job. Love the hustle. All right, guys. Your next question is in the category of Tim Burton. How many movies directed by Tim Burton have had both Johnny Depp and Helena Bottom Carter? What do we the get fuck? Do we get extra time? <laughs> yes. Jesus Christ. Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down. We'll start with Josh. Four. That is incorrect. Corey. I, too, had four. That is incorrect. Jake. I had five. Five is correct. And Caleb. I put four because I forgot there's two fucking Alice movies, aren't there? Yep. Well, really oh, no, it, it, it's Winnie Todd, Alice in Wonderland, Dark Shadows, Corpse Bride, and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Mm. Oh, there you go. Oh, gotcha. Did you say Dark Charlie Shadows? The Factory is the best one. Dark Shadows, yeah. yeah oh, that's a, that is a movie. Oh, you know, forgot yeah. you. I didn't even. I blocked that entire film out of my brain. Oh, that's good. You should keep blocking more movies out of your brain. That'd be nice. All right, guys. Your final question is in the category of directors. Who directed When Harry Met Sally? Answer in five. Don't fuck this up. Three. Oh, oh, don't worry, Jake. I got you, buddy. One. Pens down. We'll start with Caleb. It's not right, Efron. Bye. Bye. Bye, Caleb. That Have, is a good night. Have a good night, buddy. Bye. Oh, I'm so glad you Bye. had Google tonight, Josh. I'm so glad you Bye. had Google tonight. It's Rob Ryan. Rob Ryan. Goodbye. Let's get Caleb Bye, Paul. Oh, I'm Goodbye. so glad I taught you how to use Google at the Alex McFarland School of Cheating. Wow, Caleb Coho has been eliminated. Go ahead. <laughs> and nobody, and nobody said to see him go. <laughs> guys, we are down to our final three: Corey Quinto, Jake Marangoni, and Josh Velasquez. We go. Uh, almost got it right, it's Vasquez. <laughs> All right, so we go into the first question in the category of the '80s. In the '80s comedy *Twins*, who plays opposite of Danny DeVito as his twin brother? Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Jake. Arnold Schwarzenegger. That is correct. Corey. Arnold Schwarzenegger. That is correct. And Josh. Arnold Schwarzenegger. That is correct. All let right. The people, let the audience know we're going to be here for a while. Yeah, pretty much. Geek Mix Bag. Who played Harvey Dent in 1989's Batman? Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, Josh. Billy D. Williams. That is correct, Corey. Billy D. Billy D. Williams. That is correct, and Jake. Like a famous two face, Billy D. Williams. That is correct. All right, guys. Your third question is in the category of sports. 
What winning horse was owned by Jeff Bridges, trained by Chris Cooper, and ridden by Toby Maguire? <clears throat> Sorry, can you repeat that at the beginning? Yeah, yeah. What winning horse was owned by Jeff Bridges, trained by Chris Cooper, and ridden by Toby McGuire? <clears throat> Sorry, my earbuds are about ready to die. Five, four, three, two, one, pins down Jake. See the biscuit. Okay, hey, the biscuit. <laughs> that is correct. Corey. That is correct. And Josh. Biscuit. That is correct. All right, guys. Your fourth question is the category of classics. The question is, who plays Rosemary Woodhouse in 1968's Rosemary's Baby? Answers in five, four, three, two, one. Please repeat. Oh, okay. Check you can repeat. All right. Your question is in classics who plays Rosemary Woodhouse in 1968's Rosemary's Baby? Answers in five, four, three, two, one. Pins down. We'll start with Jake. I think you got on this one. I just had me on. That is incorrect. Corey. Mia Farrow. That is correct. Yeah. And Josh. Mia Farrow. Yes. That's correct. Wow. Come on, Josh. Little, little Mermaid. Little Mermaid. Uh -huh. <laughs> your, final the in, your final question is in the category of horror thriller what is the full name first and last of the little boy that Lori is babysitting in 1978 Halloween <laughs> the full name full name first and last Answers in five, four, three, two, one. Pins down. We'll start with Josh. No clue. Tommy Jones. That is incorrect. Corey. Tommy Doyle. That is correct. And Jake. No, I had uh, Tommy Young. That is incorrect. So that means Jake Marangoni is eliminated. Awesome oh. job, Jake. Awesome job. No, thanks. You guys are good. You guys are really good. Wow. Great job, Jake. See you on the flip side. Good night, sir. All right. We're down to two. We yeah. are down to two, ladies and gentlemen. No matter what happens. Yeah, good luck, dude. Good luck, buddy. Me too, man. All right. Final. Like Mike Kalinowski on uh, this past Thursday, depending on whenever this video gets released, no matter what happens, Josh, best of luck, buddy. All right, guys. Final five questions. Are you ready? Yes, yeah. sir. The first question is in the category of comedy. Who co-starred with Steve Martin in Planes, Trains, and Automobiles? <clears throat> Answers in five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, Corey. John Candy. That is correct, Josh. John Candy. That is correct. <laughs> All right, guys. Your next question is in the category of musicals. What were the names uh, names of the rival gang gangs in West Side Story? Number three and number four are the final two. Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down. We'll start with Josh. 
Jets and Sharks. That is correct. And Corey. The Jets and the Sharks. That is correct. Two apiece. All right, guys. Your third question is in the category of action slash adventure. In speed, Keanu Reeves must keep a bus above what speed? Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Corey. It's at 50 miles per hour. That is correct. And Josh? I was torn between 50 and 55. Wow. <clears throat> All right, guys. Your fourth question is in the category of movie release dates. And your question is, which one of these four films were not released in the same year? Red Dawn, Amadeus, Witness, or Footloose? Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Josh. Amadeus. It's incorrect, Corey. Witness. That is correct. Corey won. And with that, we play the last one anyway. Just for fun. All right, so we will play the last one in the category of animated. If I get this right, can I get three points? (laughs) (laughs) Who voices Fernand the Bull? In the animated film, Fernand. Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, Josh. I hope you can see my answer. <laughs> John Cena. That is correct. And Corey. And his name was John Cena. And your winner! And the new movie trivia challenge champion of the world, Hollywood, Corey Quinto. He did it, the first ever champion. All right, guys, let's go into an interview with our champion and our runner-up. We will start with our champion, Corey Quinto. You came in number three. And survived and won the entire thing. How are you feeling? Uh, exhausted. Fuck. Are, are we allowed to curse? Yes. Fucking exhausted. <laughs> oh, my Lord. And listen, I speechless just to hear the words and knew because I came into this league about a year ago, and I know I've been doing very well with Full Metal and other places, and the competition is really tough, but. This one, I was like, oh, I have a belt. I'm like, to hear the words new, I'm like, accomplished. I can't believe it. <laughs> it was not It was not a easy road for you, man. You no. started off in the first five and had to survive all the way to the final two, and you won, man. Congratulations. Take Jake. Uh, and also, the great play is there. Like, people like Jake. Mer- like, Jake's um, incredible. Like, mm-hmm. no question about it. That uh, Jake, if, I, if it was going to come back to me or God, like, we are partners in Full Metal. And honestly, this should, for Full Metal, we're doing the team spin right now. This should put a lot of people on notice. No wow. shit. No shit. Jake, so, was oh. it, yeah, Jake, I just... I want a bell. I want my moment to speak. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, Jake, a lot of these guys, it's just, it also, it pushes, like, someone like Jake, it pushes you to become a better competitor. I feel like that's what I learned. Mm-hmm. And say thanks. And also somebody, I know, she, I don't know if she's going to be watching this, but I got to give a quick shout out to my manager, Alex. Shot Jake. A call to action. You, ladies, you have a champion to prove it. And if anybody's going to tell you otherwise, just so you know, and Cole was talking to shit earlier and he want, about getting a belt. Guess what? You want to know where the belt is? I have it right here. 
All right. So you will defend your championship next month. We will have a contender shot to see who would take you on. But again, congratulations. You you persevered. You survived. Enjoy this moment. Have some champagne. A little bit of bubbly. Yeah, and I will say one thing. Uh, do I know? Who, do we know who the number who the contendership is going to be? Uh, not yet. I will let everybody know in the next week or so. All right, because I'll just say this. I now my only thing I have left to do in the family is now I have to defend a belt, and I'll say whoever it is, I'm going to study for you, and I'll be ready for you. So let's let's do this. All right, guys, that has been your champion, Hollywood Corey Quinta. We'll be right back with our runner-up, Josh. Guys, we are back with Josh Velasquez. How are you doing, man? You survived from number four, and you made it to the final two. Congratulations. Uh, no, I mean, first I want to say congrats to Corey. Um, I train with Corey every week, so I know how, how good he is and how hard he studies. Um, I'm, I'm lucky that he's my partner, and I don't have to play against him most of the time. Um, so congrats to him. Um, for me personally, it was great to prove myself. I basically went for two hours with Corey and Jake, who are two of the best people playing, um, yeah. and and to go, you know, question for question with those guys and last, you know, to the final one. Um, you know, I'm, I'm happy because I proved it to myself. Um, it was also nice watching uh, Coho embarrass himself, um, <laughs> everybody, um, as as he's known to do. Um, so yeah, so that was that was fun. All right, man. Um... Yeah, you are definitely a fantastic player. You showed it tonight. You made your debut in this league, in this free-for-all. And boy, did you really prove what you're worth. As you said, you were in there toe-to-toe -to -toe every round with people like Corey and Jake and all these fantastic players. And, dude, I am impressed with what you did tonight. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, once again, I do want to thank my faction. I want to thank everybody there, Alex and Ryan and Malcolm and Scott and Corey, because we train every week and those those guys help me get better um, with their knowledge. So definitely, definitely. All right, guys. So that's been your runner up. We'll be right back at the desk. Boy, am I exhausted, but that was very fun. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to Nerd Entertainment Network below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys soon. Peace.